Evening, warm welcome. We're building, we're building bricks, aren't we, for a better future, Red Row. No, we're building winners for a better bank balance. Another big 16 to 1 winner today. Big well done to everyone according. Almost 1,700 viewers. 1,700. And that followed up 2,500 viewers on Saturday. And that was fantastic. Finished off with a 9 to 2 winner there. And also, of course, Sunday today, a 16 to 1 winner uh, running at Tipperary. Now, I mentioned the word Tipperary, and you know it's Irish racing. I mentioned Irish racing, and you know that I've tipped more winners in Ireland than any other tipster on YouTube or any other tipster in the business, and I can guarantee you that. More to the point, the average price of my Irish winners is 10 to 1. And today showed you exactly what that was all about again, with salt and stall doing the business at a wonderful 16 to 1 and I left you no doubt about it that it would win and I couldn't have been any more confident and a big well done to everyone. First bet of the day given out, there were three really big price ones today and the first bet I gave out did the business, job done. 16 to 1 to your money, big well done everyone who got on. And who can forget the Curra a week yesterday, I gave you three out of three there, including another 18 to one winner on a horse called Half Nuts. So you can see what's going on with my Irish information. It doesn't matter where I get it from or how I get it. What matters is I'm giving you some huge price winners. You keep calling this line and I'll keep bringing you these winners. I'm going for record-breaking profits here. I'm not in the mood to pick short price favourites. I do sometimes when I go for my crossbow bets, three out of three last week. But, you know, my name is Big Price Winners and Big Price Profits. And backing big, big winners is what it's all about. And you've seen it once again today, another 16 to 1 winner from just three bets and straight in the back of the net on a horse with no form to its name, and I told you all about it. Now then, at Tipperary uh, tomorrow, uh, I've got a big 20 to 1 chance running in a 23 runner race that, um, I tell you, I could have put this on a private line, I could have put this uh, where, you know, well, I could have put it anywhere, couldn't I? I and I could charge for it. I could charge easy for it, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it you free of charge. I'm not going to charge anything for it. I could have put it on PayPal. I could have put it on bank transfers. I could have done anything I want with it after another big 16 to 1 winner again today. And winners after winners after winners. But I'm going to give it you free of charge. I'm also going to give you three other bets free of charge. And three of them, three of them, all come from Tipperary. I've got an 18 to 1, a 20 to 1 and a horse straight on the nose to win the chase there as well. So free bets there, and also I've got one at Windsor to kickstart the week in England on about a 14 to one chance. So where do we start with all these horses? Well, let's start at Tipperary, shall we? No finer place to start. The home of a 16 to one winner today. Let's say we can follow it up tomorrow. I'll come to this 20 to one chance in a moment that uh, has got an outstanding chance. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it a crossbow bet. I'm going to call it a crossbow bet. Normally my crossbow bets are short prices and they carry a massive strike rate, 87, 88%. But I'm going for a bigger one here. I'm going to pull the lever and I'm going to send it out as a crossbow. So I'm going to give you that. I'll tell you what, let me give you that first, eh? Let's give that first to you and uh, get you on your way when you can write that down as your banker. Uh, and, and 20 to 1 shot as a banker, it's not a bad call, is it? And uh, then I'll give you the rest of the Tipperary and this 14 to 1 chance at the meeting at Windsor. Wow, it's a lot to get through, isn't it? 3.30 at Tipperary, a very interesting race here. I've got the prices in front. The bookmakers are paying first five. So I'll be disappointed if this horse isn't in the five, that's for sure. And current price is 20, 2 blind, 20 to 1. So we had a 16 to 1 winner today, and I'm going for a 20 to 1 winner tomorrow on Monday. So uh, wouldn't that be absolutely beautiful? I can hear you say yes. Well, the form figures of this horse is 7869088. It's a phone number to the Tipperary weighing room. 7869088, right? It's got cheap pieces on for the first time, and I'm all over this one today. The horse is number nine. It's called Citizen's Army. Citizen's Army. C-I-T-I-Z-E-N-S. Citizen's Army. A-R-M-Y. 
Runs off a mark of 87, it ran off a mark of 88 last time. The horse is ready, it's racing over three miles, and that's exactly what this horse needs. Stepping up from two and a half over hurdles last time, running over three miles, raced really well at Listow last time, but went eighth of 18 behind a horse called Hurricane Darwin. Very, very good run that. Uh, Alan O'Sullivan has rode it the last three times it's ran. And I can tell you the horse has gone off at 33, 33 and clickety click to one, 66 to one. I believe tomorrow is the day. I've told you that today, didn't I, with Sultan Stall. Today was the day and I was right. And it won at 16 to one. I thought that was an amazing price. But there we go. We're after big price winners and we're after big winnings. And uh, that was a big winner today. And if this comes in, that'll be a big winner as well. So we've got a horse who's extremely well handicapped with a regular pilot on board, trained by Eugene O'Sullivan. It's number nine. It's called Citizen's Army, stepping up in trip. Got the cheap pieces on for the first time. It'll do for me. Number nine, Citizen's Army. It's a crossbow bet, meaning it's straight at the target. It's a bazooka, straight in. Number nine, Citizen's Army, each way, huge price that, 330 at the meeting at Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. Well, it was a long way today, but we had a bigger, didn't we? What a big and that was, 16 to 1. And we've got some other big stuff to go now as well. Let me take you back in time to the 255 for the second bet of the day, uh, which is 18 to 1, 1 8, 18 to 1. So these are big, big prices for your doubles and trebles and your singles. Number eight is called Good World. Trained by Owen Griffin, ridden by Kieran Buckley, claiming five pound, who takes over from uh, my jockey I like very much, called Jack Foley. But Jack's not on this. Kieran Buckley's on it, claiming five. And Good World has got an outstanding chance. Once again, cheap pieces on for the first time. Runs off a mark of just 98, one pound lower than last time. And is a winner waiting to happen. No form to its name. Nothing at all, really. It's got unseated rider pulled up, five, five. You'd think it's got no chance. Think again. Number eight, Good World. Each way, huge price, 18 to one. I'm on each way and uh, I think it'll be thereabouts and I'll be disappointed to honest with you. I know that's a bit crazy, but I'll be disappointed if it doesn't win. Big prize, big chance. Number eight, Good World. And it's in the 255 at Tipperary. So you've got two bets there and two to come. Citizens Army, that's the apple of my eye on Monday, I can tell you. 20 to 1 to your money. A huge chance of winning a 23 runner race. I've got it penciled in and I'm razor sharp, razor sharp on it uh, each way there. Good world, another big price there, 18 to 1 early doors. And uh, two more to go. I'll give you this win bet at Tipperary and then I'll take you over to Windsor for the finale. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up, will you? It really helps me. Shows you're watching, so you, shows you're enjoying it. And that's what it's all about. It's reciprocal. It's all positivity. And once you're positive with me, I'm positive with you. It's a hard thing to break. It's a hard thing to break. And it certainly is a hard thing for the bookies to stop winning because we're caning them big time over and over again. A couple of weeks ago, I gave you 150 to 1 forecast in the Air Silver Cup. Last week I gave you a three out of three, five out of five actually on Saturday, including an 80 to one double. Winners all week on the line, some huge prices and another big one today at 16 to one. And we're going to start with a bang tomorrow. I've already given you two. Now I'm going for a straight win bet and it runs in the 440 at Tipperary. I thought this horse might be a bit bigger price, but it's not. It's about three to one, but I still can't let it pass because I think it'll win. It's number four. It's called Union Park, uh, ridden by Jack Foley, my old pal Jack Foley, number four, Union Park, runs off a mark of 98, I've got this horse well clear on my figures and I've got this horse a dot on the card really, uh, I thought it might be a bit bigger price but it's not, it's about 11 to 4, 3 to 1 but I think it'll win, I think it'll jump round and win, number four, Union Park, looks too good for these and I think it'll do the business, was unlucky last time out, got in all sorts of problems, Jack rode it, Jack Foley, and the race wasn't run to suit at all, I think this is going to be absolutely pitch perfect, two mile, three and a half, perfect, number four, Union Park, to win the 440 at Tipperary, around about 11 to 4, 3 to 1, 2 money, it's the shortest price of the day, I wouldn't normally back horses too short, unless I was going crossbow, but I've gone crossbow on the Tipperary 20 to 1 shot Citizens Army and because uh, I'm really so sweet on it. 
So they don't put me off. Uh, the final bet of the day runs at Windsor. Uh, it's in the first race we're going to be betting on on Monday. So 1.30 there, six furlongs handicap. Tricky little race, but there's one horse in there, I think, extra value. 16 horses go to post. Book is paying first four, first five. So it's not bad. If it's in the frame, you're going to come out with a decent profit. And if it wins, all the better, isn't it? Like, all the better. And certainly if you're putting them all in uh, doubles and trebles, it's all the better as well. I'm just going to double check the price here, and uh, yes, it's still 16 to 1. It's trained by Robin Brisland, a bit of an unfashionable trainer, and ridden by Callum Shepherd, who rode a really big winner for me not long ago. Uh, it's number 13 on your card, and hopefully it's not unlucky for some. It's called Evasive Power. Evasive Power, number 13, and it goes in the 130 at Windsor, the six furlong dash in a 0 to 65 handicap. Uh, very good chance this one at a big price. It's dropped down to the mark of 6 over line 60. It's been dropping down the weights all year without having cracked it. But I do think it's ready, and I do think the horse is a lot better than the form figures seem on paper. Form figures 47003349. Again, it's the weighing room phone number, isn't it? Has to be. Listen, number 13, evasive power. It's a bigger than that, 16 to 1. So I've got you 16 to 1 evasive power each way at Windsor in the 130. A uh, good chance. Citizens Army, you know what I fancy there. The old crossbow, straight down the mil military, straight down the gullet. 3.30 at Tipperary, each way. Uh, Good World in the 2.55 at Tipperary, each way, 18 to 1. Got a lot going for it, that horse. And Evasive Power in the 1.30 at uh, Windsor. And uh, there we go. So four bets there, all very, very, very good chances. Three of them are huge prices, 16s, 18s and 20s. And you got straight on the nose with the old Union Park to jump them silly with Jack Foley on board. It's been a great day again. It's been a wonderful weekend. It's been fantastic to be trending with you. We're, we're moving it. We're moving it to 2,000, 2,500 a day. Let's get it up to 3,000 views a day. Let's not mess around. Let's, let's make it happen. And we can only do that, as I've said a million times, we can only do that by winning. Win, win, win.